Hello, I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Today we're going to be continuing our test drive of the Drobo B1200i, the Drobo designed for the small to medium sized business. This will be a continuation of our starting test with the unit uh, where we went through the, sort of some of the basics. Uh, the next step now is to uh, begin implementing a uh, solid state disk in the unit and seeing if uh, as a small business we can see some of the performance benefits of automated uh, SSD, SSD management uh, through the Drobo interface. So what you can see now is that we have the um, unit up and running. We've actually got uh, three Drobos uh, in the lab. Uh, our older uh, Drobo Elite iSCSI unit, uh, the B800FS uh, NAS, and now the uh, B1200i uh, iSCSI um, Drobo focused on the kind of business class uh, needs. Uh, if we look at the configuration of this, you can see that uh, right now we have, we're using almost uh, three terabytes uh, of the unit, so we've used quite a bit of it. Um, and we can look at the different usage of how it is. You can see that we have uh, our drives installed and everything. And if we go over here, we can get a graphical representation of how the drives are installed. You can see that we have five uh, two terabyte drives currently installed in the system. Uh, and what you'll see happen next uh, as we begin our upgrade is we'll put our SSD drives uh, in these empty slots here and we'll let the system uh, start to balance it out and things like that. So for right now what we're going to do is get some baseline tests in uh, and we'll show you a couple of those running. Uh, we're going to run uh, SQL on a couple of servers against the box and uh, get some performance statistics. Okay, and to uh, begin our testing of the uh, Drobo B1200i, we're going to uh, load it up with uh, three different tests from three different virtual machines on three physical different hosts. So uh, we'll have different network connections, so it should be a pretty fair test. Uh, on these two, on this system right here, and then also on this system, we will be running a SQL test that creates a bunch of random uh, rows. Um, and then on uh, this uh, virtual server, we're going to have a um, system that creates a, a bunch of dummy files. So now this is being done uh, with the uh, Drobo that, uh, as it stands right now, without the uh, solid state drives in it. So this is just to establish our baseline test. So we'll go ahead and kick these off. And this one right here is our uh, dummy file creator. And you can see it just creates a bunch of random files of different sizes. Some of them will be quite big um, and so it'll give us a good uh, overall variance. So that's running. Our SQL test is running here and then our SQL test is running there. All of these will run for a little bit uh, so we'll tune back in and check and see how they're doing. Okay and we're back. Um, you can see that uh, both SQL tests are done. One took 55 minutes and 16 seconds. The other took 54 minutes and 36 seconds. So tells you that um, by and large the testing is uh, pretty accurate. The uh, write tests um, uh, went, went well. Again, a lot of different sizes in here as you can see. Okay, so the net, we're ready to start our next step, which is installing the SSD drives. Those uh, we expect will go very easily, just like uh, any other drive into a Drobo. So we'll leave the screen up here so you can see the uh, drives come online. And uh, then we'll let the uh, system uh, balance itself out uh, overnight.
So you can see that the SSDs are in or are about now being recognized. Two of the three are in. Uh, we get a message letting us know that uh, new drives have been added. So all three drives are in. And you can see our transactional tier has turned on. Again, we'll let these run uh, overnight so that the system can rebalance itself. And then uh, we'll go from there. Hello, and we're back. George Crump with Storage Switzerland here. Uh, with our drives in place, we've gone ahead and um, restarted the uh, test drive. Uh, so. Uh, we've got our we just start restarted our SQL queries uh, and we'll go ahead and kick off our uh, random write test so those are are now going uh, you know and, and it'll be interesting to see does uh, three SSDs in a uh, small business network make a difference uh, just some quick background on our configuration here it's a uh, standard one gig uh, network nothing fancy um, no specific tuning uh, at all and so we'll see if um, uh, the SSDs make a difference uh, really any difference uh, would be probably pretty significant uh, and show that um, uh, there's some value here uh, the cost of three SSDs is not that expensive and so a reduction in um, overall uh, time it takes to get things done is it would be certainly a good thing so we'll tune back in here in a little little bit to see how things are going Okay, and we're back. The uh, results are in, and they're impressive, to say the least. Uh, we saw a almost a 15-minute reduction on both tests. Now, these are write-heavy tests, so uh, I, I certainly did not expect uh, that level of result, especially given the, the network that it's on and, and all that, so... Uh, and, and we've now run the test twice and uh, had the exact same result both times. So I feel pretty, um, uh, feel that the test is pretty valid. So, uh, you know, we can say that the solid state performance uh, is significant. Uh, and again, the only change we made, uh, everything was already up to date and everything. We just ran the test with the two terabyte systems and then we put the 230. Um, uh, gigabyte uh, SSDs in and uh, wow they've worked really well let's go check out our write test uh, that was uh, 319 seconds the the prior test was uh, almost 600 seconds so that's a reduction by 50 percent uh, so again uh, another big uh, performance differentiator uh, in this uh, test. And that about wraps it up for us here today. Um, very impressive results. I, I'm honestly a little bit surprised that it was that good, uh, especially on the uh, SQL testing, but even in the, the hard write test, uh, you know, 50% performance improvement is incredible. So uh, very good uh, results here. Uh, very satisfied with what we've seen. Uh, and we're looking forward to doing some more uh, testing with the uh, the new B1200i. Um, uh, this will be another product that uh, the guys at Drobo will have a very difficult time uh, prying from our hands. So this is George Crump, Lead Annals with Storage Switzerland, uh, tuning out. We'll be bringing you more updates on our testing of the Drobo products in the future.